Welcome to Abba's House. We are a family passionately pursuing our freedom in Christ, sharing his love, and helping people find their purpose. Since Pastor Ronnie Phillips became our lead pastor in 2018, it's been our goal to be a house of grace where we can help people live free and fully alive. We did that by investing in our community, helping out schools, supporting our local youth sports, and hosting community events. We did it through missions, here in our community and in places like the Dominican Republic and Haiti. We ministered to kids at the Abbas House Children's Center and to the people out in the streets. And we saw several hundred people saved at the two-day crusade in Haiti. And we did it by helping people overcome addiction through Celebrate Recovery, by teaching English as a second language, and helping people who have experienced loss through Grief Share. Here at the church, momentum was in full swing. We revamped our preschool environment to provide a fun and safe place for our kids each and every week. Our students were gathering, growing in their faith. And our adults were finding community and places to serve. Our worship services were both engaging and life-changing. But then the pandemic hit and everything went dark. Everything got quiet and the world seemed to stop. But we didn't. We quickly regrouped and strengthened our digital presence. Life groups went virtual. Our kids men and our student ministry, they began producing weekly content and we strengthened the number of ways that we could interact with our digital audience. We hosted free drive through COVID testing. We provided meals for families in our area and we donated school supplies to kids in our area in need. And we used this opportunity to renovate our campus. New signage started going up. We welcomed a church looking for a home to use our facilities. We hosted a drive through trunk or treat experience and we had an amazing online Christmas Eve service. And not to mention another incredible Christmas at the movie series. Our choir continued to lead at times when it was safe. And when it wasn't, our worship team led the way. We even baptized one person a week so that we could clean and keep everyone safe. We also saw people from all over the country join our church through our online campus. And even though we were apart, we didn't lose touch with our church family. We were able to provide food packages to some of our senior adults. Through our widow's ministry, we provided gloves and blankets to the homeless, and we were able to call and pray with many who were sick. We found unique and fun ways for students to safely connect. Our kids' men team made house visits, they sent cards, and called our kids and volunteers. And during these tough times, we provided teaching and support online through classes and small groups. Here we are a year later with hope of returning to normal on the horizon. Now, we just hit the brakes and rest? Not a chance. The mission is too big. The mandate God has placed on this church is too big. We are just getting started. We've launched a new strategy for reaching our community. And we're dreaming big about what discipleship looks like at Abba's House. The student ministry is remodeling their space in the central chapel and student classrooms. We're hosting an after school program called End Zone. And our senior adults are helping to provide meals for the kids in this program. Kids and student choirs have started back up and we are having our summer camps. Our midweek groups are back in full swing, and we're working continually to make our online campus even stronger and better. When you join our online campus, there's a pastor to interact with and someone who can pray with you in a private chat room. Our preschoolers and K-5 graders are having an epic time every Sunday and Wednesday night. We found a safe way to treat the water, and we've baptized 21 people since the first of the year. And our Hispanic ministry is growing as we've added more English as a second language classes in outlying areas. So why do we do all this? Why do we keep pressing forward? Because we are a family passionately pursuing our freedom in Christ, loving others and helping them fulfill God's purpose for their lives. Listen, we as a church want to show you what grace looks like. And we want to help all of you live free and fully alive.